again to The Sous Chefs. I am Chef Kimberly Russell Esquire. And I'm always Chef Rob. And so by popular demand, uh, we have brought back the winner of our Flaming Hot taste test, which we did a week or so ago. This is the Doritos Flamas. It was an outstanding candidate in our Flaming <laughs> Hot taste test extravaganza, wherein we tasted all the Doritos, the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and even the nasty, nasty LeBron James. <laughs> Flamin' Hot Sour Cream. And cheddar. And nasty LeBron's feet. <laughs> no shade, LeBron, but don't tell me they smell like roses, because if they are anything like those chips, they're nasty. <laughs> so Robert managed to secure this morning, this AM, <laughs> 7 AM, the Walgreens on Clark and Monroe. And these are the Flamin' Hot. So we're going to do a head to head testing to see which of these reigns supreme, which is the Flamin' Hottiest, and which is the one that we're going to in infuse into some ice cream and see how it goes. So, which one would you like to select first? Um, I want the Flamin', the Flamas first. All right. So we're going to gonna do the Flamas now. Well, I also want to point out for the people, though. Yes, we are in our law firm. But we did hella lawyering today so much lawyering. before we decided to eat chips on camera. Also, bitch, if I want to eat some chips while I'm lawyering, I will eat these chips. Okay. <laughs> now, Your Honor, Your Judgeship, I am not coming into your Zoom room crunching on these Doritos. I ain't coming into eviction court crunching on these Doritos. But it is the middle of the work day. It is Chicago, and we are the only ones here. We're gonna eat these chips and we're doing it for you because we know you guys wanna know. <laughs> what's the hottest snack? And what's the best and hottest snack to make ice cream with in light of how far we've come from the eating of the macaroni and cheese ice cream? <laughs> it's wild that we went from there to our second taste test of hot shit. <laughs> and, you know, sadly, we don't have any Malort. To wash this down, I don't know if the flavor. Happily? Is that the word? Happily? Right. I don't know if it would be a good palate cleanser, but I say go ahead. Let's let's try it again. Remember, we we found these to be outstanding. Again, take a look at this, the coloration. Nice coverage. Nice covered. The lime hit you right away. Mm -hmm. Those are still delicious. Mm. The citrus, Robert and I were thinking. With respect to the flamas, maybe we would do like a key lime flamas combo with a flamas ripple, or else we do like a half and half. Mm -hmm. Like we infuse the cream in one half and do a swirl mm -hmm. with some key lime. Ooh. These are still That's outstanding. So good. So outstanding. <laughs> now the frito, oh, the flaming hot. Now, so you got to eat more than one of these. You can't just eat one. You can't eat just one. You got to eat at least, I got like five here. Oh, that's good. See, remember we ate that rolled up nasty one? The, the dinamita? The dinamita, yeah. Oh, this good, is the though. horny flavor that I wanted. Ow. I just can't stop eating these, man. Oh, oh. I don't want to keep eating them. <laughs> And I just ate a full Maggiano's <laughs> three-course meal, I'll point out, which we had for our outstanding clerk who's just graduating from DePaul Law. Oh, man, I can't stop eating these. And this is ridiculous because I just ate the full lunch with salad. <laughs> oh, so but good. These are so good, and they are so hot. Yeah, but... But you know what? But they're like a good high. This is not a painful heat. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a pussy, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if you're like my husband, whose little booty hole can't handle it. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? Poor Brian. Oh, these are delicious. I just can't stop eating them. Like, I feel like Flaming Hot Fritos maybe has run away. I you, told you it's the king of the Flaming Hot. Everything about this is right. The shape. Perfect. The corniness. Those are not overwhelmingly corny. But I can't stop eating them, and that's how you know. I'm just saying. I ain't even hungry, y'all. <laughs> Am I emotionally eating? Damn, Obviously. damn, I, I, where am I not? 
bitch, I never stop emotionally eating. If there's a way to get some like marshmallow pie into my face mouth. <laughs> I think that reminds me, I made sweet potato whoopie pie when I was in law school. Mm-mm-mm. They were so good with like a homemade marshmallow fluff. Can we have some Frito flavored whoopie pies? We could try it. I think we should try it because I love a whoopie pie. And I'll tell you what, I was eating hot Doritos interspersed with marshmallow pies yesterday. Mm. Take a bite of the marshmallow pie, have some flaming hot Doritos. See, when I was a cook, my favorite snack was flaming hot Fritos and a honey bun. Mm. That's delicious. But not the iced honey bun. That was too sweet. That is too sweet. This, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Be the winner. I can't. I mean, Doritos Flamas, sadly, you're a second and you're kind of like a distant second because this is the perfect flaming hot snack. The winner, the champion, the undisputed victor in the flaming hot war is the Frito Flamin' Hot. <laughs> I can't stop eating this shit. Oh. I'm not eating them. When we make this into ice cream, y'all. Get ready. It's going to be a full-on operation because Robert already has a plan. Why don't you tell the folks what our plan here is? So we're going to take some, probably half and half, and we're going to soak the chips in it. Then we are going to drain the chips out using the fine mesh strainer. Got to use a fine mesh strainer. Then we are going to make an anglaise with that. You better creme anglaise that shit. Then I'm still not sure. I want to figure out how to get this hot stuff off so that I can like put it into like a a candy. I wonder if so it's can ripple it. If we just pulverized it real real good. Like because I don't know that I want the corn. I want the hot. Oh you know we what? need to reverse engineer that hot powder. I think we can let's start let's let's see what all they got here because I'm sure they're just gonna put spices. We know garlic powders in there mm-hmm. onion powder um romano cheese cheese cultures so there's some cheddar cheese powder in here mm-hmm. there's definitely there's maltodextrin onion powder corn oil yeah they're kind of keeping it close to the vest tomato powder mm. i bet it's just like i'm guessing it's like tomato powder for the redness mm-hmm. uh there's probably the garlic and the onion powder they also use buttermilk so we can put a little buttermilk powder up. See the flaming hot, oh, okay. Flaming hot seasoning includes cheddar cheese, um, Romano cheese, tomato powder, onion powder, lake, uh, 40 lake and yellow six. Lake. Okay, we don't have the weird we colors. We don't need to have the dye. We so ours, the ours is likely not gonna achieve the, the coloration that we have here. And I don't know that we necessarily want it to look like that. Um, we could probably we could probably achieve that with some other kind of coloring yeah, agent, like a food gel. Like a food gel, yeah. But I mean, this is the thing: every single one of these chips that has some kind of more complex flavor, they always put some buttermilk in there and tomato mm. powder. Like there's always tomato powder. Like if you look at the Dorito seasonings, the only thing that's different with this is they put tomato powder and then they do like Romano cheese powder, and then they also and they're nacho flavoring, but they also add the red and green pepper powder. Mm. We don't need that here. So I think it's just going to be a matter of figuring. And there is some sugar and citric acid in here for that little extra tanginess. Mm-hmm. And bitch, we got that. I fucking love them chips. Oh, they're so good. Y'all, <laughs> if you are flaming mad about the stupid Fifth Circuit Texas social media ruling <laughs> or literally anything else happening this week, Please, won't you try some Fritos Flamin' Hot chips? <laughs> They're great, and you don't even need to drink the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew with them. You can just not drink whatever. <laughs> or have three shots of Malort. I don't give a Ooh. shit. Ooh. Just enjoy these Ooh. chips like we enjoy this and our friendship and each other. <laughs> so this has been the Sous Chefs. Once again, enlightening you with our Flamin' Hot takes. Mm-hmm. Always a hot take with us. <laughs>